Welcome to WSJ Live, I'm Simon Constable. What does the health of the tech industry say about the economy? Let's ask an expert. We've got Frank Calderoni, he is the CFO of Cisco, a well-known bellwether. Thank you for joining us, sir. What do you see in your business that reflects on, on the economy? Healthy, unhealthy? You know, what I would say from an economic standpoint is, uh, you know, we've uh, been through a number of quarters now. We're seeing a slow and steady recovery when I think about it globally. Uh, I'd say the United States uh, has shown a much higher amount of growth for us, especially in the enterprise and the mid-market. That's business to business, we're talking that, about that's that. That's business to business, right? So we sell into enterprise customers, we sell into mid-market customers. Uh, from a Europe standpoint, you know, Europe has been challenging for a number of quarters and we're starting to see a bit of an upward trend, especially in the northern. Uh, so it's been about flat for us, but the northern countries are showing a little bit of a trend. So we're talking about G Germany, Germany, UK. the UK primarily, the Scandinavian countries. And then we're also seeing from a southern, which has been the most challenged, a little bit of stability. So uh, clearly we want to wait. Spain, Italy, Greece, that yes, sort of thing. all the southern of... countries from that perspective, starting to see a little bit of stability. So we're hopeful uh, right now as far as what we're seeing in Europe kind of going forward. But we're going to wait another quarter or two to kind of see how that plays out. Well, we've been hearing that the capital stock in the U.S. Has, has got very diminished because we've been through a period where people didn't want to invest. Are you seeing people coming back saying, oh, now is the time I'm thinking about buying some capital equipment, whatever that may be that would relate to you? So, so first, I think there's been a level in the last couple of years of conservatism from the standpoint of spending. And I think there is still a level of conservatism uh, from that perspective. So, but, but I also see that people are becoming a little bit more, businesses are becoming a little bit more confident as far as the slow and steady recovery. And so they're starting to spend more. And that's kind of what we're seeing, as I said, within the United States, especially within Europe. Uh, so from that perspective. Slow and steady is what we, we hear from your counterparts uh, at other companies and, and CEOs and, and managers, slow and steady. What is it going to take for the U.S. economy to get its real mojo back? I mean, I'm thinking back to the 90s when, you know, things were, you know, better, shall we say. So I, I think a level of confidence, first of all, um, as far as the future potential. So I think as, as we start getting a better feel for, let's say, the next year or two, and we start getting some better economic indicators that uh, show some further recovery, I think that's first. Uh, second, I think there's some uh, reforms that, that are underway as far as immigration, as far as tax reform, uh, things like that from, a, from, let's say, a business and government perspective that I think would help businesses feel much more confident about the longer term. You know, right now, some of the tax reforms, are, you know, the capital uh, in investment for R&D credits, uh, that's a very short term uh, right now. It's Does that expiring. need to be permanent? I think it definitely yeah. needs to be permanent. And it gives businesses a level of confidence in the future so that when they make investments, they know that they're going to have those credits there for a long period of time, not necessarily with the stop and stop that we've seen the last number of years. So long-term investment needs a long-term commitment to yes. that lower rate yes. or that, that, I guess, incentive. Yes. Thank you very much, Frank Calderoni. Thank you, Calderone. Simon. Appreciate it.